You know what this tape means, right? I'm about to ruin my Model A coupe with a five inch chop. What is up guys? Welcome to Wreck the World. I'm Eddie and if you are a Model A purist and you love Model A's, this video is not for you because I'm about to cut this thing up. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a five inch chop on this and uh, you know why? Because it's my car and that's what I want to do with it. I've already gotten a lot of hate um, just on social media and stuff just because I was pulling the fenders off and it's like, you know, whatever. I'm making it for me and I'm loving it. So that's all that matters. Anyways, I'm going to start bracing this thing. I already got all my lines marked out here. Um, I had the tape on, but I just went over with a silver uh, paint marker to do the, uh, the lines there. So I'm going to brace it up now and then we'll get to cut and So um, usually I have to take the interiors out before you start chopping them. Lucky for me, there was no interior to begin with, so that saved me a lot of work. But I'm just gonna brace up the inside now, just do a couple cross pieces here and there so the body, so the body doesn't work too much while I'm uh, cutting the roof off. All right, so all my bracing's in. Now there's no turning back. So I'm gonna take five inches. Of, holy shoot, what are you? <laughs> That's my buddy Andrew. He's gonna give me a hand here today. And uh, I got my brother Richard on camera filming there. We'll show him in a little bit. Yeah. Hey, Mike. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start on the front here, work my way back. Always cut on your top lines first, so you can take the roof cap off, get it out of the way, and then you can cut the rest of the pillars off here, and then put your roof cap back on, and, you know, duct tape and glue back on, and you're good. You take all five minutes. Just kidding. All right, Andrew, come on around here. We're going to start on this door. There's no turning back. I've never done this before. Just kidding. This is like my second time. Watch your eyeballs. So I made all my top cuts so far, but now I'm gonna move on to the back here. But I just wanted to point something out. Uh, here I did with a Sawzall. I hate Sawzalls, they're just not very precise. Uh, I like using the uh, cutoff wheels. Like I'll just use my grinder with a cutoff wheel and a rooster. But what I'm doing here is this is the five inches that I'm taking out, but then I'm doing a drop down in the back. So I'm gonna remove the five inch section from back here. And then again, up here for the five inch section for the back window. So I'm gonna do that now. This is all gonna be cut off wheel work. We're almost there. Lack of wheel move. Yeah. 
<laughs> you butchered my boy. I know. I'm such a jerk. So what I'm going to do now is cut the five inches out. So these bottom lines, go through and cut all of them. And chop it up. And we'll get that roof section, set it back on, and we'll see how it looks. Mother flipping inches. Hi. Hi. Why don't you tell us about your car? Our dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I'm ready to put the roof cap back on and we'll see what it looks like with the five inch chop. Andrew. Andrew. Ready? From the back side. Oh, these screw parts are gonna have to kind of drop back down in there. Man, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. I missed this up. Wood. That's okay, we can trim it. Yeah, it's just hitting there. Okay. Man, that looks awesome. I think five inches is just right. I don't want to go too much, but I wanted to go enough. Good medium duty chop there. So, this is all the. I don't know. I don't know if this is the hard part or the easy part, but. Basically, all I have to do now is kind of do a little bit of trimming here and there just to get my, my gaps a little tighter. And then weld this sucker back on. I'll get the, the welds done and get it all ground down and, you know, tune it up or whatever it needs. And we're going to go have some hot riding fun. So here's a small example, kind of finished welded and ground down. Um, I'm not going to leave it like this, obviously. I'm going to go in with just kind of a skim coat just to smooth it out a little bit more. I'm at various stages. I mean, this C-pillar is not even welded up fully. Um, you can see kind of the relief cuts I have to do just to bring stuff in just a little bit, just to get all the edges to line up. And then I did a couple relief cuts back here on the C-pillar just to keep that nice round shape going. but. Ultimately, you want everything to be nice and smooth. You want all your edges to line up nicely. So that's where we're at. I'm just gonna keep plugging away on this thing and keep welding it and burning myself. I have holes in my welding gloves, so <laughs> I always forget about it until a you know piece of slag finds my finger. But I wanna keep on welding. Well, I'm gonna get back to welding this thing. Thank you guys very much for watching. We'll see you next time.